In this experiment, I'll be using a rock, a compression spring, and a retention spring. It is a simple fact to note that a force is required to either compress a compression spring or stretch a retention spring. The springs cannot compress or stretch on their own. For the first drop test, I taped the compression spring onto the reference frame so it doesn't move around. I also taped the camera as low as possible to get a better view of the spring. When connected to the earth, the rock weighs about 2 pounds and it's able to compress the spring all the way down. The spring wants to push up on the rock but the resistance or weight of the rock is greater. However, the instant I release the reference frame into freefall, the weight of the rock completely vanishes and the spring is able to push the rock up. This experiment shows that the weight of the rock is only a factor when connected to the earth. For the second drop test, I hung the rock and retention spring from a screw I drilled at the top. As you can see, when connected to the earth, the weight of the rock is able to stretch the spring, showing that there is a force present. However, in freefall, the weight of the rock completely vanishes and the spring returns to its original shape, swinging the rock up, showing that there isn't a force present. Weight is not a property of matter and requires an external force, which is only present when connected to the earth observable, measurable, testable, and repeatable.